And welcome back to Connected. Well, Matt Breen hails from Liverpool in the UK and is a 20-year-old singer-songwriter, a popular regular on the Liverpool, Merseyside and Chester UK gig circuit. Matt has appeared regularly at the world-famous Cavern Club in Liverpool and is currently currently on his second tour of Queensland. And I'm very pleased to say he joins us on the Connected Couch. How are you, mate? I'm great. How are you? And welcome back to Australia. Cheers. Thanks very much. I'm glad you let me in. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> last year the tour went exceptionally well, didn't it? Oh, it went really well. It was great. You know, we just kind of went up to Rockhampton for a little bit and came back down and recorded a couple of songs as well, got the album going. Yeah. It was all good. And you recorded uh, a video clip, I think, at uh, old, the old Bogger Road. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, that was, that was amazing. That was an experience. Yeah. Very, um, uh, very European. I found it was very sort of traditional in terms of prisons, because obviously there's plenty in England. Yeah, well, so. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> no cameos from any of the ghosts at the jail? Oh, no. Well, you see, I'm, I'm really into paranormal, so I was kind of walking around, hello. <laughs> no, no, nothing. You know, it was middle of the day. They yeah, please think you didn't go, so. hello, is it me you're looking for? Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks so much for that. <laughs> um, uh, people are certainly taking to your music and also to your online presence because uh, you've had uh, something like three quarters of a million hits. Oh no, it's it's all it's all gone off. You see, I did a I did a gig on Sunday up in um, Shawncliffe, and I didn't have my phone on me all day. Did the gig, went home, and then slept. And I was woke up by my manager in the morning, and he said, "You've gone viral." I was like, oh, "It was nine o'clock in the morning." I was like, oh, "No, <laughs> this time." And, um, and then I've checked online, I had about 50 odd notifications. I was like, God, this has really took off, you know? Yeah. And I, initially it was the Daily Mirror, which is a paper in England. And then it was the, the Daily Mail. And then local newspapers started picking it up, the Liverpool Echo. And it's all gone a bit crazy. And now loads of social media sites with millions of followers have started sharing it. And, and this is because you were singing with a police officer at the airport. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. The, the, this guy just turned up behind me. I was playing Benny and the Jets oh, yes. on this piano. It was an open piano. I was playing Benny and the Jets, and I turned around, could feel someone behind me. I was, you know, God gave me a fright, you know. I was like, what have I done here, you know? Yeah. I thought they were going to take me off somewhere, and he was like, oh, I just want to sing with you. So, <laughs> As you do. Yeah, and then so he requested some, some Manchester band that I'd never heard of, and I was like, well, what about Oasis? And he went, yeah, go on, yeah. So we started playing Don't Look Back in Anger. And he was really like, oh, this is, you know, this is great. And he was singing along, belting it out. And about 10 people filmed it. And now, and now I've gone viral. Crazy, isn't it? You don't yeah, even need the shot at the end. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Now, of course, uh, for you, I mean, uh, you know, playing places like the Cavern Nightclub mm. must be fantastic being from Liverpool itself. Oh, it's amazing. It's, yeah. it's, it, the thing is, with, with people in Liverpool, the whole Beatles thing, unfortunately, has been done to death. Yeah. So loads of scousers will go, oh, the, the, it's just the cavern, like, you know, I swear that place, I'll go somewhere else. But the thing is, as a musician, you know, and someone who knows popular culture, the cavern's the place to be. Mm. You know, it's just this, this kind of vibe around it, and you, you go in there, you do your thing. I mean, the ceiling's dead small, and obviously I'm really tall, so I'm kind of like that playing. You know? yeah. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, um, it's such a wonderful vibe in there, you know. Uh, they just always play Beatles music. But you, you say that the Beatles thing, you know, has sort of been done to death, mm. but, I mean, you were actually in a show that was about the Beatles I too. was, yeah. I was in Lennon the Musical playing uh, George Harrison. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I was... Um, I, it was very strange, really, because George is the short one. So I kind of had to bend down and duck down behind Paul, who was about up to here on me, <laughs> right. and John, who was up to there on me. So <laughs> I was kind of, like, skulking in the back. <laughs> you know, stealing the limelight every now and again, but you know, yeah, it was great. But Wonderful great show. acclaim for that show too, didn't you? Oh yeah, well yeah. you know, got several good reviews, you see, and um, it was wonderful. It was just a wonderful experience. I got in touch with a, a guy who was in um, a band called The Lars, which are a Liverpool band. They wrote a song called There She Goes. You might know that. Yeah. And um, I got in touch with him, and I've been in touch with him since. He's a really lovely guy, John yeah. Power, and. Um, yeah, it's just open doors, really. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. Well, we're glad you are here, you. and uh, we might actually get you to play uh, a, the new single for us. Yeah, sure, of course. So if you'd like to make your way over to yeah, our sure. production set there. No worries. Uh, we've been no expense here, mate, so thank you so much, and uh, we'll listen to you yes. in a second. And if you'd like to know more about Matt, you can check out his website, matthewbreen.co.uk, and to give you an insight into why he is so popular, here he is with... Not guilty. This is Matt Breen. So I'm picking up the pieces and I'm trying to get them fixed. But when I think I'm done, it seems there's a few I've missed. Before the 
jury give the verdict Will you just hear me out When I say I'm sure I never really had a doubt So let the courtroom be adjourned And your objections overturned Cause the fire you've been burning Is just burnt out So I hear you what I'm saying And I read my words clear I'm not guilty And those ashes, they turn to dust Or do you have to leave, baby? Well, if you must So let the courtroom be adjourned And your objections overturned Cause the fire you've been burning is just burnt out So I hear you what I'm saying And I read my words clear You know you're all I'm wanting So I've no fear Yeah, I'm not lying, I'm crying I'm begging you, please or Do I have to get down? Fantastic, isn't it? Matt Breen there joining us again here on Connected. And if you'd like uh, more information about Matt, check out his website, matthewbreen.co.uk. That's all the time we have on this edition of Connected. Thanks to Don Stewart from the Institute Civic Centre, Christopher Smith from QPAC, and, of course, Matt Breen. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.